Hey guys, this is Tom from BuyMeAnIPhone.com and we're back with you when we're going to do an app review today. It's called Next Read and it's from Square Wheel Software and it's an app designed to uh, help you keep track of all the books that you want to read over a certain period of time. I know that I always get book suggestions from friends, friends family members, colleagues, and then when I'm in the uh, bookstore it always seems to uh, just kind of go away from my mind. It's like this black hole of information up there. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this app. I think it's a good app, especially if you uh, like reading and you like keeping track of the books that you want to read over a period of time. So we're going to show you that app. We're going to move over to the close-up camera and uh, we'll just give you a little bit more information about that. Okay guys, so here we are with our app, and uh, the app that we are reviewing today is the app called Next Read. And uh, like I said, it's an app uh, to really keep track of the books that you want to read over a period of time. So let's get right to it. Let's open up Next Read, and it's from uh, Square Wheel Software. And you'll see as it's it goes right to your book list. I've got a couple of books there. Um, then down the bottom you can search for a book your sources and what your sources tells you is is it from a friend did you hear from it from a podcast where you just browsing online in a magazine on TV so on and so forth and guys you can customize these numbers so if you want to set a value from a friend to be four points as opposed to three points you can do that which is really nice so we're gonna cancel that and we're gonna go back to our sources list okay and <clears throat> As you see, I've got a couple of books in there already, but I want to show you how to add a book. So let's say you're talking to your friend and um, they tell you that Pride and Prejudice is really a great book. So you go search books, okay, enter keyword Pride and, and we're just going to put P-R-E and it should pull up Pride and Prejudice. Okay, So there's Pride and Pre, Pride and Prejudice. Okay. So we'll pull that up. That's from uh, Jane Austen. Okay. And then it says add to list. Okay. As you can see, it says add to list. Then if you scroll down, it gives you some details. Okay. And you'll see, and it's got a review button. So it's been reviewed by two users okay, with five stars. So you can go and you can read the review. So you can go and read the book review, and there's the book review on Amazon. You can go back, you can add it to the list. There's your details. Now these are the details from uh, Amazon web page. So it's from uh, Jane Austen, publisher, type of book, the price, and the sales rank. So let's open this, uh, actually let's add this to the list. So we're going to add that to our list. And where did I hear that from? I saw that uh, in a magazine. I'm going to add it to a list in a magazine. Now let's see if I want to go buy it. We're going to open the Amazon web page. So it'll open up Amazon in Safari. And it will give you the page on Amazon that is selling Pride and Prejudice. And if you scroll down or scroll up, and the price is $11.89. As you'll notice on the other screen, guys, it was $13.99. So I'm sure it just takes some um, some prices at a certain time. Okay, so let's go back to the app itself. Next read. Now, if you go to book list, you'll see that I've got a couple books here. This is a team to believe in. Uh, that's Tom Coughlin's book about the New York Football Giants. Uh, here's one that I kind of put in there, Remembering Yankee Stadium. And then here's the one that we just put in, Pride and Prejudice. Okay. Now you can either remove your book, you can increase the score. Um, up at the top, you'll see sources. So if you want to see all of your books from a friend, there's my book from a friend. If you want to see all your books from magazines that you found, you can go by title, okay, so it lists it by title with the rank on the right hand side, or you can list it by category. Okay. So that's sports, and this is Jane Austen. 
So it's a really simple app, guys, but it's really nice to be able to um, find all the books and keep track of all the books that you've talked to people about or that you're interested in reading. And that way, you'll be able to uh, reference this when you get to the bookstore and kind of decide which book you want to read next. So there's not much else to it. Um, again, you can uh, change the titles, you can change the categories, you can change the score. For example, if I decide I don't want to read Pride and Prejudice anymore, I can re remove it from my list. Okay. And then go back to my book list and there it is. So this is uh, Next Read by Square Wheel Software. And um, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to leave me a comment or uh, or send me an email, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Okay, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com, and like I said, this will be my last video review before uh, Macworld, and if you have <clears throat> if, if you have any other questions, guys, on Macworld, um, or if you want a certain product scouted out, let me know by sending me an email to Tom Mosha. that's T-O-M-M-O-C-C-I-A, at buymeaniphone.com. I will uh, be have access to email at the show. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And we'll be updating you from the show on Twitter during the day also. Okay, guys. Again, uh, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you from Macworld.